hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous videos we discussed about the time response of a first order system to unit step input and unit impulse input okay so in this video we are going to discuss about the time response of a first order system to a unit ramp input okay so as you can see this is the block diagram representation of a typical first order system this is the closed loop transfer function okay so cs by rs that is laplace transform of output to laplace transform of input is equal to 1 by st plus 1 you can take t or tau whatever okay so don't get confused okay if you find this t or tau or anything those are the same okay so here the unit ramp input as i have already told you before the unit ramp input is represented in time domain as rt is equal to t okay and it has a waveform a shape of the waveform like this okay with slope equal to 1 okay we have already discussed about this so this is the ramp input okay the unit ramp input now the laplace transform of the ramp signal is 1 by s square okay the laplace transform of t to the power n is n factorial by s to the power n plus 1 so here it is 1 factorial by s to the power 1 plus 1 so it is 1 by s square okay so this is r s so we substitute this value here okay so rs is equal to 1 by s square so we can write cs is equal to 1 by s t plus 1 1 by s square what we have done is we have taken this rs from the denominator in the lhs and multiplied here in the numerator in the RHS. So it becomes RS is equal to 1 by S square. We have multiplied it here. Now we have to factorize it in such a way that we can calculate the inverse Laplace transform of CS because our ultimate aim is to find CT. Okay, CT which is Laplace inverse of CS. So now we have to factorize it okay this expression so here we will be using the partial fraction method we have this we have uh, studied it in the engineering mathematics in first year so we'll be using the same technique of partial fraction method okay so let us just resolve it using uh, partial fraction method as a s plus b okay where a and b are two constants for this term a is a s plus b by s square plus for this we take another constant c and this becomes s t plus 1 okay so further simplifying this expression what we'll do is that it becomes a s plus b s t plus 1 plus c s square okay plus c s square by s square into s t plus 1 this 
So now we have to compare this expression with this. Okay, this is 1 by s square into s t plus 1. So we have to compare the numerators of these two expressions to find out the values of A, B and C. Okay? So by using the partial fraction method on comparing the numerator of this expression with this, okay, comparing the coefficients of S square, S and the constant terms, we got the value of A as equal to minus t b equals to 1 and c equals to t square okay so we'll do it using the partial fraction method okay we know that so now we will substitute these values here okay so we'll substitute the values of a b and c here so using the partial fraction method, we will compare the numerators of the following expressions and we got these values. So now we will substitute it as minus Ts plus 1 by S square plus T square by s t plus 1 okay so this becomes one by s square minus s t by s square plus t square by s t plus 1 okay so again simplifying it becomes 1 by s square minus t by s s s got cancelled 1 s from numerator with 1 s from denominator and here by dividing t on both the numerator and the denominator will get by s plus 1 by t okay here we divided here t in the numerator and t in the denominator so we got this expression okay now we have to calculate the inverse Laplace transform so we know that Laplace inverse of 1 by s square is equal to t. Laplace inverse of 1 by s is equal to 1 and Laplace inverse of any constant multiplied with s is equal to that same constant. So here Laplace inverse of t by s will be simply t okay and also Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a is equal to e to the power minus a t okay we know that so these things will use it okay so here this is the expression for c s so c t will simply be the laplace inverse of the following so laplace inverse of 1 by s square it is equal to t 
Laplace inverse of t by s simply this constant which will be capital T this is small t and here this will be using this formula okay just replace a with 1 by t so this becomes t minus t plus t into e to the power minus t by Okay, so this is the time domain expression for the output response of a first order system to a unit RAM input. T minus capital T plus capital T into e to the power minus small t by capital T. Okay, so let us just write it down here clearly. Okay. So the output response for a first order system to unit RAM input. It is given by ct is equal to small t minus capital T plus capital T e to the power minus small t by capital T. This is the expression. So as far as the shape of this response, the waveform is concerned, let us draw it T this is CT so the waveform it will look something like this okay like this this is C T and if we draw the ramp signal here and we calculate the steady state error okay the steady state error concept we have not discussed it is the difference between the input and the steady state output okay means when the steady state will appear this difference it will come as t okay that is the steady state error okay the steady it is expressed as the steady state error okay so the steady state error it is written as limit t tends to infinity okay rt minus ct so we have not discussed about that but we'll discuss it in a separate video. So for just now you understand that the steady state error in this case it will be T. Okay. So here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to the first order system and the output response to the unit RAM input. Okay. And previously we discussed the same thing for uh, the unit step and the unit impulse input so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much